Hey guys, it's Terry Cuber. So this is like my first airplane update in like a while. So like here's some progress on my CRJ100 and an updated mini CRJ200. So um, I'll get into this one first to talk about this later. So this, I've had some new progress on it. As you can see, I replaced a lot of the colorful pieces and that orange piece I can't really fix right now, but um, yeah, the overall shape is coming along. It's about a foot long, a bit more than that, I think. But yeah, and then I also have it to the height that it needs it to be, that it needs to be. So all I really need to do now is make the roof, roof onto this plane. It's gonna be that hard, but um, there's this one piece here that I cannot find at all. That might be a struggle, but anyway, sorry about that. From what I've updated, um, everything really is the same. I updated the bathroom door, so it's a bit taller now, and it opens a bit further. So I had to rearrange the seats a little bit. Then everything else is the same. There's that one seat that has a video screen and then there's this cabinet drawer right here where there's like some storage. Yeah, that's, that's that. And we have the main door that's just been the same for a while. Then, then we do have all the other um, window patterns. We have orange. It's only on this side because there's a door and cabinet there. We have some regular windows and then an emergency window. It's a bit bigger. So yeah. Um, I, what, and I'm almost done with this part. I also added this right here to make it realistic. I'm not quite sure if this plane had a a back retracting staircase like my DC-3 has, but please let me know in the comments so I can update it in a future version. But anyway, so yeah, and then the flaps are still the same. And then Bottom, I started making the gear bay but didn't quite finish before making this video, so probably the gear just go in. I should probably find a better spot for these yellow parts because they don't fit very well there. But yeah, um, probably gonna make this something here to separate them. But that's the gear for now. Here I f finally figured out a way to make it stable. Because it's being supported. Last time it was only supported here, which was a problem because it kept falling off. But um, I added a jumper plate and a one by two plate here, so it can it's sturdy on two spots, and the jumper plate just comes off pretty easily, which is then used to retract. So that's that, and. God, okay. Yeah, so that's the progress on here. Expect another airplane update to come on like tomorrow or next week because I have a um, trip report to do mm, for the next few days on Christmas. So yeah, that's that. And then here is the updated tier J200. So as you can probably tell, the wings are very different. And that's because I shortened, I actually shortened down the plane a little bit because I realized the CRJ200 does not have a lot of windows. So I shortened it down a lot. So yeah, I sh this one only has like, I think 15 windows. CRJ200 itself doesn't have that much. But like, so yeah, these are the wings. Oops. 
wings, they're not that long. They're about, they're only like three quarters of a foot. And then this, the length is about three quarters of a foot as well. Like both fuselage and stuff is not the best, not the biggest. Then I replaced the doors with these fence things from Minecraft because, um, okay, anyway, so, yeah, I also made the entrance a lot smaller, how they should be, and the interior, here, there's really not much interior, I, like, emptied out the entire thing, but even with that, it's still actually kind of heavy, heavier than I expected, also, this is how the wings are put in. They look like this, where we have some hinges, and then we have some mm, tiles and stuff going into here to give the impression that it's coming out of the body when it's actually just on the bottom. And also, I had to move the landing landing gear forward because there's no room up here, so I so I put it here. So I had to put some cheese slopes here to connect it to the wing so yeah sometimes it can just tilt over because it's tail heavy a little bit but yeah so that's that now the last thing for today is the the arctic cargo plane in here so this this was going this was going to like be all white or something but um i can't find a white piece for this so this is going to be t um permanently green and also this um i have found some pieces to replace that is that one so um i can actually do it right now but um here there's no cockpit yet um i'll make that later later but, um, it's really just a normal cargo plane. There's, like, nothing special inside. Okay. Yep, the skis fell off. Alright, let's secure this part then. And... Uh, Let's do that. Then close this. So yeah, now it's almost completely high. Also one of the engines fell off. Can fix that later, but yeah, this thing's about this thing's like the smallest cargo plane of its size that I've made. Obviously it's not the small smallest ever one that I've built. But, um, here's, like, the undercarriage, if you guys are curious. Like, a, some, a mount to hold the skis, and the engines are on the bottom here. Yeah, and also I have, like, a nose, a nose a ski in case it, like, dips forward in the ice. And that's, like, just realism. So yeah, the engines kind of fall off sometimes because of the way they're mounted. But besides that, it's pretty good. So um, yeah, that's it for today's um, plane update, airplane update. So yeah, also I have the cross section of this right here. Let me go get it real quick. All right. So, here it looks like this. I just made it using random colors. <clears throat> colors. So, obviously, um, it's not the same height because um, there's skis and stuff on here. But this is like approximately similar. <clears throat> similar as you can see. I mean, I actually made this after I built this. Because um, I, I didn't know if I was going to need this piece or not, but I didn't. So, um, yeah, so 
that's pretty much it for this airplane airplane update so yeah four things really today but that's pretty much it and thanks for watching bye for now